Ann Coulter, who gets a lot of heat and likes it, and credit for her not politically correct opinions, has found a soulmate running for president. I just want to say, since Donald Trump has announced that he's running for president, I felt like I'm dreaming. Maybe Mitt Romney had to lose, and maybe we had to give Republicans one more chance in 2014, and maybe Mitch McConnell and John Boehner had to betray us once again to pave the way for President Donald Trump. God hasn't given up on America yet. Thank you. Now, wait a minute. Explain. You were sitting in this chair. I can't quote you exactly, but I can characterize what you said. Donald Trump, don't do this. We don't need you now. You're, you're getting in the oh, way no, no, of, no, no. It, I of, never the, said that. of the serious candidates. I never said that. You said you're getting in the I way. I absolutely you positively did. You never said, said, here that. And said that. Do no, we have I'll the tape? Yes, we do. You want Find to the it? tape. Absolutely. Okay. I can tell you what I said right. because it's been my longstanding position. And unlike Jeb Bush and the rest of these candidates, I don't take a poll to figure out what my position should be. No, when Donald Trump got in, I reminded everyone that I'm usually the one saying you have to have been a former governor and don't consider people who aren't former governors. But from the absolute beginning, I said I make an exception in Trump's case because at least he's talking about immigration. And boy, has he exposed the rest of them for not being able to talk about immigration because of their donors. I, I, Did you see Scott Walker flip last week? He, he came out against Anchor Babies after Trump raised it. And then one of his billionaire Republican donors, um, what is his name, Stanley Huntley or something, he stepped in and said, no, no, we're for Anchor Babies. And suddenly, Scott Walker doesn't have a position on Anchor Babies. So he, he, <laughs> he, he is for birthright citizenship. Birthright citizenship is technically something different. That okay. would be children born to legal immigrants. Anchor babies are when illegal immigrants run across, drop a baby, and that gives you citizenship in this country, anchoring the entire extend, extended family here. And so to, for those, it's a voting metaphor. For those for whom anchor baby is a negative, a pejorative, a bad phrase, you say what? The um, same thing Donald Trump says. No, I'm saying it. There's nothing pejorative about it. It's not racial. It's not sexual. It's a voting metaphor. Okay. <laughs> so he's it anchors the family here. He's doing really, really well in the polls. Keeps going up. Now he's tied with Ben Carson in Iowa. What do you think of Ben Carson kind of? Well, actually, up the there? Ben Carson thing was a flash in the pan. Um, the very next day, the next poll came out, and suddenly it was Trump far ahead again. And this is exactly, you know, how they keep saying, oh, these polls don't matter at this point. At some at some point, Herman Cain was winning or Michelle Bachman was winning. Now, I went back and looked that up because that wasn't quite how I remembered it. And it's exactly like this Herman Cain thing. No, one poll showed Herman Cain tying with Donald Trump. And incidentally, yesterday, um, Nate Silver, the um, big New, the New York Times yeah. statistician, um, he posted that this is amazing that Cain is in this one poll tied with Trump when, he, when he's gotten Trump has Carson. 600. Carson. Carson, Carson. Yeah. Carson sorry. Yeah. Um, Carson is tied with Trump when he's gotten so much less media coverage. And I just tweeted out, well, that's been lucky for Carson, and tweeted out three of his positions from his web page. And people ganged up on me and said, stop attacking him. No, I'm quoting his positions. Well, you just it, oh, but, we're but so quote, happy you, we have a black it, Republican. If you quote, yeah, the conservatives love a black conservative Republican. They do. I mean, it makes them comfortable. Dan isn't racist, so I don't care that he's black. But, but uh, Trump... I mean, you can quote every position he said before. You saw the Jed Bush uh, video that he, you know, he was for single payer. He loved Hillary Clinton. He was uh, pro-choice. Pro-choice, all those things that if you were opposed to him, you'd be running those out there, right? Um, no, I think it's, it's, these are all unfair. I mean, just to take them quickly, the single payer, what he said at the time was not for this country. He was being... He was being polite to Canada. He said single payer seems to work well in Canada. It wouldn't work in this country. That was the full sentence. That, that's what you're using but on that, that one? That would be enough to have you chew him no, up and sit him out if you were opposed to Well, you quoted him. me wrong from a month ago, and I know what my position <laughs> you know, I is. I wish we could run, Point two. We I wish we could run the tape on that, but Point we don't two. have it. Well, I may have said it before yeah. he, start, he actually announced his well, announcement yes, speech. Yes, yes, yes. Well, okay, things change when he gave his announcement I said speech. the last time you sat in this chair. Well, no, I've that. just repeated that. Yeah. I, that's why I think my support for him is more meaningful, that my general position is, and I, and I think it's true, that um, you ought to have been a governor or a former okay. governor. I make an exception here because he's exposing we're, the we're, rest of them as We're going to bounce through a few things here right now. First of all, that uh, moment of uh, removal of Jorge Ramos, <laughs> the, uh, the anchor guy where he said, you right. know, get him out of whatever it was. 
What are your take? Go back to Univision. That's what he said. (laughs) Well, and by the way, that was, I'm glad you mentioned that because that was so outrageous the way when, I I thought it was funny when he said go back to Univision. They act like it's it's just an outrageous slur as if it's go back to Mexico. No, Jorge Ramos works at Univision. (laughs) It's not like he, he was saying it to some random Mexican. Next, guy you used to love, Chris Christie. He was your guy. Remember that guy? He was your fantasy right, guy. Right, right. What happened? He's bad on immigration. He's, is that it? I mean, that's, is that Yeah, the I thing? sent out a tweet the moment his temporary Senate appointee voted for Marco Rubio's bill saying he's dead to me. That was it. And then he doubled down and, and pushed through in-state tuition for we, illegal aliens. We touched on Ben Carson. Does he have legs? And I'd point out about Christie... Everyone wants to say that Trump's rise is about something other than immigration. I knew if someone finally took up the pro-American position on immigration, as I push and advocate in my book, Adios America, um, I mean, this isn't a new thing for me, I knew it would be popular, and it is popular, and everyone wants to say it's something other than immigration. If it were just this straight talk, um, which I like, well, then Chris Christie would be winning right now because I do like the straight talk. I do like that but he doesn't have to back down. how did he go from being the hottest guy to maybe not make mm-hmm. it into the, the, the He the sold race. out to Wall Street and the donors on immigration. All right, we, we had a shot there, Ben Carson. I mentioned him. Will he be around near the end? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, this is Republicans, as you said, and I am admitting, but not in my case, who say with both Carson and Carly Fiorina, oh, we have a woman who's a Republican. Oh, it's so amazing. We have a black who's a Republican. Well, you can understand why they, they don't, don't know what ju- their positions are. They don't want to just be middle-aged you- white guys, though. Uh, Carly Fiorina. Sure, I'm not against it for that reason, but that, when that's the only reason you support these people and you don't even know what they stand for, as soon as people find out and, that Ben Carson's and, position and is there are no, we don't have enough female firefighters because of discrimination. Many people were impressed with her performance at the debate. Were you? Not especially, but I can't say I really watched that first debate. (laughs) The happy hour debate. (laughs) No, No, I have not been impressed with her. She's completely, um, she's all wet on anchor babies, the 14th Amendment. No, amendments passed immediately after the Civil War were not designed to allow La Raza to bring over illegal immigrants and give them insta-citizenship. It was about freed slaves. And not only is she wrong on that, she's she's sort of bossy. They're going to change the rules, and apparently she's going to be in the CNN debate. Right. But Could does take... that mean Chrissy gets kicked out, though? No, I, they make no they're bigger. adding 11 oh, because she's a girl. All right. Oh. The name of your book is... Adios, America. And culture. <laughs> <laughs>